Life is too complicated for evolution. You see, the living cell itself is a labyrinth of incredible design. Now, you have in your body over a hundred trillion cells, a hundred billion brain cells. And among those 100 billion brain cells, uh, you have, every brain cell has approximately 50,000 neuron connections to other brain cells. You're an extremely and delicately and sublimely designed and created organism. Life is just too complicated for evolution to explain its origin or its arrival in its current state. Uh, take the living cell. It's been stated by Dr. Michael Behe, a world-class microbiologist, that there are about 20 different sections in a cell. And he states in print, and it's been verified in the technical and secular literature, a single flaw in the cell's protein transport pathway is fatal. Unless the entire system were immediately in place, now wait a minute, unless the entire system the entire cell, with its DNA, the dioxyribonucleic acid, with its RNA, with its protein synthesis apparition, with the membrane permitting only the right chemicals and discharging the refuse, unless all of this were completely and immediately and simultaneously in place, Dr. Behu stated, unless the entire system were immediately in place, our ancestors would have suffered the similar fate of the flaw of the protein transport apparatus. I mean, life, living systems are too complicated for evolution to explain. Another scholar stated, only whole cells contain all the necessary machinery for self-replication. Without the protein forming machinery, nothing can be made. It all has to be in place simultaneously. It's been stated by other biologists that there are approximately 60,000 proteins in a single cell. These 60,000 proteins are assigned in a hundred different configurations, but those configurations must be absolutely specific. And the proteins must be absolutely specific. What's the naturalistic flip of a coin, odds, that those 60,000 specific proteins could arrange in the specific 100 configurations. Now, it must be very fast because if they're not arranged almost simultaneously, the entire system falls apart and begins to biodegrade. What's the flip of a coin chance that those 60,000 proteins could self-assemble in those 60,000 configurations. Now, wait a moment. We've granted the evolutionists the proteins to begin with, but he, he can't go manufacture those proteins out of nothing. He can't even manufacture one today. He has to have the template already designed for a specific system to copy. So we're granting him all of those 60,000 proteins just self-assembling, I mean, that is a major grant to give to our friends. So grant the 60,000 proteins already in existence. What are the odds that they could self-assemble into the 100 specific points and placements of configuration for that cell to function? The chance is one. One chance in 10 to the 4 million 478,296 power, absolutely impossible. Well, life is too complicated for evolution to explain its origin.